Fellow Carmelites, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good day. Saint Teresa of Avila speaks of her relationship with God. It is a dialogue of friendship, speaking to God from her heart. She had an irresistible charm, a sharp wit, and fantastic sense of humor. According to tradition, Teresa fell off her donkey as she crossed a stream while journeying to visit one of her convents, causing her to land in the mud and dirty her Carmelite habit. We twins were fortunate to have been at Spain for the fifth birth centenary celebration of St. Teresa in 2015. We think the convent Teresa was visiting was in Burgos. From the convent, we crossed the bridge where the stream was located in going home to the nearby hotel where we stayed. With her quick, fiery Spanish temper, Teresa looked up to heaven and said to God, Why would you let this happen? And the response in prayer that she heard was, That is how I treat my friends. Teresa answered, And that is why you have so few of them. Flashback. This story brings to mind when I had a severe stomach pain on October 2, 2011. Twin sister Luz had to rush me to the hospital at Mandaluyong, Quezon City. I'm mindful I suffered a heart attack. Why on earth do I suffer a heart attack a day before starring in a stage play entitled Born for You? the life of Teresa of Avila at the Armed Forces of the Philippines, Camp Aguinaldo Theater, Quezon City. Feeling better the following morning, we begged the cardiologist that I be discharged. I even recited the transverberation scene, which is a mystical grace wherein the saint's heart was pierced with a dart of love by an angel. Such joy and pain Untan alegria i alaveth the Lord, overwhelming joy and pain, as if I were drowning. Oh, Juana, how can I explain this? I was discharged only one hour before the 2 p.m. play on October 3, the death anniversary of our Papa Ivaristo. After the October 4 presentation, we forgot about the instruction of the cardiologist to go back to the hospital and proceeded home to La Union. Upon arriving at San Fernando, I felt a severe stomach pain. I had to be rushed at night to Lorma Hospital. Then the doctor advised that we go to Baguio, but the machine at the hospital bugged down so I was brought to the PGH and underwent a triple heart bypass immediately. On October 7, the Feast of Our Lady of Holy Rosary, Luz attends Mass at the Philippine Heart Center's chapel. At the closing song, Brother Steve informed Luz that my operation was a success. Luz was relieved and left me at the hospital for San Fernando to attend the October 15 Feast of St. Teresa of Avila at Carmel of the Holy Family Monastery Chapel here at Pindangan. She was grateful to the late Bishop Artemio Riliera for granting her request to give a message before the Mass dismissal. Of loose message. I was touched with her message. Luz said, My twin Nila's new life at 57, after undergoing bypass surgery last October 7, Feast of the Holy Rosary is a welcome relief. It is for this reason that I offer this piece of message 
to help Nila be bold and fearless in this critical time of our life and in chasing our dreams. And what could be that dream? Like Saint Teresa, a great woman whose face we honor today, may Nila and all of us present here remember that we too are born for God and God alone. I believe that God had arranged the story of our lives. I believe St. Teresa is working in Lila's life at this time, trusting that God is working at this time despite the horrible situation at hand. Dr. Brenda Espinosa, the attending physician, wrote in Lila's medical abstract. Her blood pressure at the emergency room was 90 over 60, with further drop to 60 over 40. I recognize the sign of heaven, which speaks of very poor prognosis. At this time, I would like to acknowledge the following. I praise God for a second lease of life. I wouldn't be standing here today if God ended my life at the operating room. I extend my gratitude to my twin sister, Luz, sister in blood and faith, whose message inspires me to try to be at par with her in serving God, our fellow Carmelites, and fellow men. To my family, my husband, Chikoy, and my children, BJ, Vesti and Neil. To all who believed in me to head the community for a term of three years. I would like to give a special mention to Sis Kasing Cabinas. My twin Luz was president and I was vice president in our fourth year high school. And you know who our class advisor was? It was Kasing Cabinas. I would like to to solicit your support, the council, the director of formation, the secretary, treasurer, and all members to achieve the growth and goals of our Carmelite order. I will devote my time and myself to the obligations and the duties of this position. Last but not the least, I thank provincial delegate Father Benedict Bianco, for his presence today, and through him, receive God's grace. Thank you very much. I have no soul but Mary's soul, no heart to love God purely and ardently as she has loved God. For fidelity and allegiance to Jesus Christ, your Son, thank you, O Virgin Mary, Mother and Queen of Covenant, for imitation of your virtuous life and faithfulness. To St. Teresa of Avila, St. Teresa of the Child Jesus and of the Holy Face, St. John of the Cross, and to all the Carmelite saints, I thank you for the enlightenment and living Carmelite spirituality. To all OCDS Carmelites, thank you for our journey together along the path to holiness and apostolic life following Jesus in the derision Carmelite. Special thanks to Luz Bolo and Nila Arhel, who by their words and deeds have faithfully guided us into the process of formation, from clothing to, the, to reach the that total commitment of the definitive promise. The, the twins are inspirations to us. In their wonderful achievement of their gift of pilgrimage and tours, they have said to us their trips to Avila for the fifth century 
centenary of St. Teresa's birthday, and to Fatima for the 100 years anniversary of the Fatima operation, and to other countries as far as Antarctica, to, to let the whole world know Teresa forever. God's favors and blessings have been given to us the Father Benedict Bianco of OCD for the cult ceremonials, the clothing and the definitive process, and the pastor visit to OCDS Pindaran, San Fernando de Union. Thank you for the meaningful presence. For the organ hymns of the choir led by Mutri, thank you, Sarah. For our friends, and to everyone here present, thank you for everything that is true and good and beautiful. Good day. The Christmas card sent by Father Reynaldo Visotello Jr. OCD to our St. Teresa of Avila community last December 15, 2016 finds significance on the pastoral visitation of Father Benedict today. The card, though arrived late to its destination as it first went to San Fernando, Pampanga on December 28, 2016, it nevertheless arrived at San Fernando La Union on January 3, 2017, Holy Name of Jesus, Tuesday before Epiphany. The following day, the postman delivered the card on time for our video on the choking of the door. Luz opened the card at the gate where instantly she was inspired to read aloud, And why has this happened to me? The visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary is recorded in the Bible. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Luke 1, verses 41 to 42. Nila arrived at San Fernando Loñón together with son and family to attend Luz's daughter welcome party at CN Sky Hotel. Nila's frequent visit to La Union enables the Ortega twins to do their evangelization work.